just start a little bit by talking about uh, your background uh, as a musician and an artist. Uh, I started in Utrecht and then I um, switched over to the Royal Conservatory of The Hague and there I finished uh, my bachelor and master's and but I was producing my own music always on the side. Then I came to, well, doing this where I could actually combine everything, finally make my own music now in this unique way, I guess. So, so over those years, I, I, I just started collecting instruments. I mean, uh, which was basically always my dream, you know, to have like your own studio full of instruments. So, because uh, I'm a percussionist, and you have this broad world of sounds as a percussionist. So finally, for me, it struck like you know, I have my own samples instead of sampling stuff from records. I mean, which occasionally I still do, but mostly I try to now make my own samples in that way, you know. So. Uh, yeah, it that, really came together what, there yeah. at that point. Yeah, that's certainly what makes what you're doing so much more unique. Very much like Foley, yeah. in a way. I mean, you're doing live Foley sound exactly, design yeah. here. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, that's one of the things that inspires me, you know. I mean, it, there's a very much big difference in, uh, in, in producing music back home for hi-fi speakers. Uh, then I would maybe choose another plug-in. For, I mean, especially reverbs. You know, I tend to take other reverbs, but, you know, live, that's can cost a lot of CPU. So I do a lot of with the reverbs of Ableton. And for live, it's just works differently on a PA. You know? As an example, you have you had it with the drum and bass uh, era. Like drum and bass music was created uh, by sampling funk breaks and speeding them up to a certain extent that drummers weren't able to do at that at that time, you know? And then through that music, drummers started being like, oh man, this is so awesome. And they tried to recreate that on the drums. So it's this cycling motion, you know? And I think, I mean, the same is for me. I think this music derives from, from producers that don't necessarily take into account if something is possible or not, you know, playing-wise or audio-wise. And, and for me, that's like up to trying to translate that and but my music definitely derived from people not able to be to play instruments. I mean, so if you're not, don't worry if you cannot play instruments. Just keep on producing music. You know. I mean, yeah. Let's give them a little round of applause here. This has been awesome. Yeah. 